Students, uh, in this module, I will briefly cover the relational model. We have been talking about the relational model for a while and we will also mention it in the subsequent slides also. It is kind of a review and kind of a refresher in the context of web enabled databases. So when we talk of the relational models, okay, this or when we talk of the database, behind our mind is the relational model. Relational model has been around for maybe more than three decades as of today. And a lot of development has been taking place at the commercial level, at the marketing point of view, and from the mathematics and computer science point of view also. So let's look at the module coverage. So uh, two simple points need to be considered, which I will talk about. And then there is about the objects and about the operators and about normalization and integrity. So these are some of the fundamental things of the fundamental aspects which are related to the relational model. So let's first talk about the two simple points. Okay. Now those two points is that all the data, okay, is stored in a table. I am talking of the relational model. A table is a two dimensional entity. Okay. And when the operations take place on a table, which, which I will briefly be talking about, the result is also a table. And of course, that result could be a single uh, record or it could be uh, a, a cell only. It, it depends upon the nature of the table and the type of the query. So there are three parts of the relational model. First is the object. Object is what uh, ever collectively constitutes a database. Okay. Uh, what the relations, the tuples, the attributes and so on. I will be discussing them in the next slide. And then is the integrity. The integrity is the rules which are behind the relational model. And uh, in this module, we will not be talking about those rules. And in the subsequent, uh, you will just ensure that those rules are followed. Uh, we will not go into the basics of those rules. And then the operators, the operators are the commands which are acted upon the tables. And of course, they produce the results. And that result, what that result is, that is again a table as these two common things about a relational model. So what are the objects? The objects are the relations. What are the, uh, the object consists of all of those things, which you can see on your screen, all those things. So a, a, a relation is a table that is an object. Tuples are uh, the rows. Every record is a tuple. Okay. That is in the relational terminology. Then the, the columns are the attributes. The values, for example, the name, the date of birth, okay, the address, these are all the attributes or the columns of the database. And a group or a, a single group of all those columns is an attribute. Then is the primary key. Primary key is that unique value based upon which you can retrieve the data from the relational model. For example, the ID card number, CNIC of a person or the social security number of a person is that primary key, right? And of course the passport number is, is can be a primary key also. Then is the domain. The, the, the domain is the set of legal values which can be there in an attribute. For example, the attribute about the age, okay? For that uh, domain value, green color is, is, not, is not a valid thing for that domain. It is just out of place. And then is the cardinality. Cardinality is, is the same terminology from the set theory also is the number of records or the number of tuples in the, in the relations, which is the tables and the degree. The degree is the number of attributes in that table or the database. So this is the, these are the objects. Now integrity and the operators, there are many types of keys. There is the primary key, there is the foreign key, then there are other keys, integrity relationships. Integrity relationships means that uh, if I am inserting something in the database, that is with reference to something which already exists. I will explain this. And then are the unique keys. Primary key is the unique key. There are two types of operators, the algebraic operators and the calculus operators. And for you, it is sufficient to work with the operators which we'll be using. Uh, which are very simple ones and remember that 
of course there are many many commands of sql sql which is the language used to retrieve data from the relational tables but not all of those commands are being used now depending upon the command used you can have or we can have a table which is larger than what we started with and of course it can be smaller than what with we started as you can see on the screen and there is the normalization the purpose of as, as a matter of fact you uh, basic database design or the people who are making those simple databases they might actually be doing normalization without knowing that they are doing normalization so what is the purpose of normalization the normalization purpose is to make the database efficient okay and it should be optimized to handle the processes because remember that we are making a system okay and uh, now i'm looking at the application not to share the data or not to uh, for internal use so we are making an application like uh, like the processing for the telephone calls make made on a phone so we want to make a system which is very fast so that is why we need normalization there are five uh, types of normalization then there are other types also uh, but uh, in this course i will be not going to lots of details about all of those types because those types and their details are part of a course on database so that's all i have for this module for you